Hi everybody, welcome to Northwood Farms Vlog 202. I'm Kip. I'm Emma. And this is Vivian, the Aww. Vivster. In that, like, looking like a grown up in the hacker. It's two years, so you guys. Crazy. She's been with us two years now. Yep. I've loved every second of it. And she's totally ready for the hackamore, but I'm probably not going to stay in it. But this is Nathan's hackamore. It's the NG hackamore. Well, you wanted to try a proper 5.8 hackamore, which, I mean, your hackamore is awesome, but it's it's just a little bit smaller. It's just a little smaller. It works fine for me. And but Buck has always encouraged me, you know, to like, oh, you need to at least try one that's the traditional size. So uh, we had our first ride today in it. It was mm -hmm. kind of fun because we filmed the whole thing just, just for fun, just to see how it went. And, yeah. It's fun to see the transition because... Um, you know what you're getting accomplished and then just switching it up and and you go back over things again Which you, is cool. Yeah, and what I really feel um, is and I, I Think that it's possible to really start to understand the base of the neck. Oh From yes. the hackamore. Absolutely. Which is it, it definitely feels like it's harder to get the base of the neck turned loose in um, a bridal bit mm -hmm. but in the hackamore it actually can, if you're feeling for it, I think it really can help illustrate uh, a turning loose of the base of the neck. Yeah, because her whole skull. Yeah. So yeah it's I'm really not cool. keeping her in it, but look how, isn't she looks so beautiful? She's so pretty. Okay, so the other thing that's happening today is the start of the throwdown. Yes, you guys. Yeah. We're back together again. <laughs> Let's do it again. So, so the one thing that's really neat about, well, we were talking about this this morning. So right, and let's just tell, because not everybody is in the throwdown. So oh. for those of you guys that don't know, um, we have a horsemanship challenge every year, and then the folks that were in the challenge that January, we always invite to do a short little mini challenge, like a horsemanship throwdown, we call it, at the end of the season, just like right before the time changes. Yeah. So that's what we started today. And it's a lot more condensed, and it's actually a little bit more informal, too. Because Super informal. Because yeah. we've all been together already. So right. It's exactly. kind of like a And everybody knows the deal, and it just rolls right into it. Yeah. So I so, started this morning. Strategic deadlines. Let's talk about that, because the throwdown is a good example of the strategic strategic deadline. Wow. I just, <laughs> blah, 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 strategic, strategic deadline. Yeah. But... Um, we talk about it in business a lot. Like you first learned it from Buffini, really. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because he's your coach. And that whole plan of setting yourself up, especially for you, because as an entrepreneur, you need that. Yeah. Well, because we all have these these things that we want to accomplish, but if if no one's setting the structure for you, it as you guys probably know, it can be that you're wishing for things and stuff isn't actually getting done. And the problem, I think, with a deadline or the, our traditional way of thinking about a deadline can be that it's very negative. Like, it's something we have to do. It's like a looming, like, horrible thing. Um, it can be, be very overwhelming. In, in best case scenario, uncomfortable. In worst case scenario, something you're like, I never want to do this again. <laughs> yeah, but if it's done correctly. That's right. So, then, strategery. Yeah, strategery. Um, it's a totally different thing because it's a motivation. Right. Yeah. And a marker. I think that's yeah. the biggest thing. Is if mm -hmm. we look out over the year, where are our markers? So where's our beginnings, our ends? How do we know whether we're making any progress at all? Right. And um, especially in horsemanship, for those of us that aren't, really in a program where we're, you know, moving up through the levels in dressage or in Pirelli or, you know, someone getting points in a specific discipline or moving towards the snaffle bit futurity or any of those things like in horses that competitions a lot of times will, will set strategic deadlines for us, then the horsemanship challenge and the throwdown are helpful for kind of book ending the year. Right. And it, it gives you a hard deadline that you you can be excited about right. something moving towards something. Yeah. And so it really gives you a motivation to get things done before certain deadlines, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So if you talk about it, even in real estate, really simply, um, what do you set up for a plan? Do you have smaller markers to hit the strategic deadline? Because I do that in my business. I'll do much smaller markers. I'm like, if I get this done by this date and this and this and this, then it will lead to this deadline. Right. 
Right, and that's just chunking things down yep. to little bits that you can, which is cool to like even think, okay, so this is the horsemanship challenge. This is my goal to get going with this horse. In the throwdown, I'm gonna do, you know, something littler. Mm -hmm. And then in between, you might have other little small goals. But the deadlines, if you use them strategically, are markers in the year, a little bit of an incentive, and a way to know if you're moving forward. Right, absolutely. And another thing that I love about strategic deadlines that people don't think of is like a vacation. Or for instance, we're going to Spanaway. Hmm. You know, we are leaving to go up to Washington, you know, the Wednesday before the clinic starts. That's it. So we're gonna go hard between now oh, and then okay. in terms and of work. So your deadline's your break. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a really good way to put it. <laughs> yes. That would definitely be motivational. You're pushing towards your next break. Right, or your vacation or, you know, whatever Ooh, your deal is. I like that. Go hard, rest. Go hard, rest. Yep. And that's a whole other vlog. And that's a whole other vlog, <laughs> ladies a, and gentlemen. The restaurant cycle. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Thank you, Mr. Brian Buffini. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There's a lot of tools there. <laughs> Check out his podcast. Yeah. Uh -huh. the, Bri the Brian Buffini funny. show. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Anybody, yeah. it doesn't matter what business you're in. Yeah, it's very mm -hmm. cool. Okay, that should be it for this though, because we got to start the throwdown. Yes, we're we're really excited to see all you guys in the throwdown right now, and um, it's gonna go fast. It's gonna go really fast. Yeah, especially this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We hope you guys have an awesome week going forward. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.